what would you like from Santa for Christmas? Um, oh, it, what I would like for Santa from Santa for Christmas? Uh, probably more gin. No, um, what I would like for Santa for Christmas would probably be actually a new KitchenAid. I really like one of those. I've got a really old one from the 80s, which is doing me well, but I need a new one. Is that a dishwasher? No, no, a KitchenAid is um, like a... Uh, it's like a mixer. Yeah, is it, that's a specific brand. It's called a KitchenAid, but my one is quite old. It's beautiful though. I think I've pretty much got everything I want actually, which is amazing. But let's just add lots and lots of travel and um, an endless credit card, infinite abundance. That'd be lovely. I'm going to be incredibly simple. I would like a really fluffy, really warm dressing gown. I <laughs> know that makes me sound old. <laughs> For Christmas, I'd like a cake that had Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> come out of the cake. Yeah. I'd like a new car. Um, probably some of George's baking. <laughs> I'd like a unicorn. <laughs> uh, a girlfriend? Oh, I'd like. I'd like for, for Santa. I'd like a girlfriend for Nat. <laughs> Ooh, a new car. <laughs> a new face. <laughs> world peace um, I would like a lot of money and a lot of girlfriends thank you <laughs> um, I would like the keys to a cabin in Scotland so that I can uh, hibernate for the winter uh, what would I like for Santa for Christmas um, oh, that's a hard one because I don't really celebrate Christmas so maybe a good warm beautiful day Khaleesi um, an excuse not to go to work, like, that would be great. Mm, maybe a television and then I could watch this, yeah. <laughs> uh, round the world trip. Santa would be lovely. As I get older, I don't know, my taste in men. From Santa, I would like um, joy, happiness and peace for the world. Oh, a beautiful house. Oh, wow. Uh, a new car. I'd love a new car. If my girlfriend's watching, I'd love a new car. Yeah. Um, if my husband's watching, I'd like higher boobs. Good, firmer boobs. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know, a boyfriend wouldn't be bad. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably asking a bit too much. But I can... Uh, work on that myself. I think for me I'd like um, I'd like a reprieve in sex and love addiction within the gay community <clears throat> and drug addiction as well. There's a lot of addiction I think I, you know I see it. I saw it certainly saw it in London but uh, but I'm coming out of like a place that I know into a different context you know I'm, I'm kind of seeing it afresh and and, uh, and all of those things sex addiction love addiction and drug addiction kind of I think it um, it interferes with our, our natural abilities to despond and just be intimate with each other as men, you know. And, and, and I'm finding it really increasingly sad the more I see of it here. So I'd want Santa to put a stop to that. Put a stop to drugs. Santa, take away the sex. Take away the love. Yeah, Matt Perriman, again, yeah, yeah. just in an orange suit. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. I'm in, I'll, be, I'll be in You're the orange. orange. He can okay. be nothing. So like a prison outfit, basically. Yes. You'll be in prison. I would like Santa to send me to prison. <laughs> and then I will the have a conjugal visit say, with Matt Boma. He's No, he's going to be your cellmate. Oh, he's uh, yours. So, oh, so it's like a 24-hour Prisoner thing. 2541, stand up in your orange suit. I can't. I, <laughs> give me a minute. This, what would you give Ian Thorpe to welcome him to the Rainbow family? Um, a big kiss. I'd give him a really big cuddle and I'd give him a business card for the bit of life coaching. A butt plug? <laughs> I'd give him an hour on my show, actually, yeah. So what would you give Ian Thorpe to welcome him to the family? <laughs> I was going to say something very wrong. Um, uh, probably a big hug. I'd, I'd want to keep it... I know that he likes jewellery, though. So I'm feeling, you know, I saw recently yesterday on, on online, they had um, dildos that you could also wear as jewellery, these beautiful metallic dildos. And I think that he might like one of those as well. You know, a little bit of vibration just to get him just moving a little bit forward when he's doing, you know, recreational swimming. I'd give him a big hug and just say, welcome. 
Um, probably a pair of rainbow speedos. Oh, I was totally thinking that. <laughs> um, I think a cake. I think he'd appreciate some cake. Oh. A toaster oven! Oh, two toaster ovens and a new pair of dick stickers. Uh, I don't know, um, welcoming, probably a big hug. Yeah. Oh, that's... I'm the nicer one here, as yeah. you can <laughs> Oh, um, I guess a boy? Yes, a boy. Um, I would actually bake him a cake here at the Bake Off today and award it to him as opposed to auctioning it off. Bake off. I mentioned the Bake Off. We are at the Bake Off. Big kiss and a hug and and um, what else would I give him? Support. A big hug. Um, a big hug and tell him I was proud of him. Oh, a colourful pair of socks. Yeah. A uh, massage. <laughs> what was that? What would you like to give Ian Thorpe for welcoming him into the family? Oh, me, of course. Um, I would give Ian Thorpe a hug. A good rogering. <laughs> <laughs> a new pair of underwear. I don't know. What does he need? I'm not part of your rainbow family. Um, by association. By association. Can be queer even when you throw um, I think he needs a tiara. Ooh. Oh, besides a big rainbow flag? Uh, oh. Uh, I don't know, a float in the uh, Mardi Gras. What would I do? Um, I would offer him my friendship. I think that's, that's what I'd do. I'd probably give him a Valium. I don't know. <laughs>